Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to use newly fired snapshot component. This is a uh, pure editor uh, script. It's only for use in editor mode. And uh, its purpose is kind of environment modeling. Let's say you don't want to create demolition uh, in the simulation. You don't want to demolish anything in runtime. You just want some, some object already be demolished at the start. Uh, or maybe you want to start your scene with some fragments laying around and only then you will start pushing them toward demolishing further. So this is a quick way to create such uh, such things. So I'll start with this just one column, just one object and this rock which will, which I will drop to this column. So pretty simple setup. Every object will be demolished in runtime. I start play mode and give some time to the subject to be demolished and uh, uh, some fragments to lay on the ground. You can see the object has inner material. So now I can stop simulation. Uh, I will go this empty root snapshot. As you can see it already has this snapshot script applied. So now I need to add object which I want to capture and uh, here I have this rock. And I will also take this column fragments and I also will move them under this snapshot uh, game object. And uh, now I will just click this snapshot button. I'll give it some name DML1, something like this. And click snapshot. And as you can see, it creates a fire snapshots folder with this asset file, which uh, has all the information it needs to restore all these uh, fragments uh, later. So now I can exit play mode. And I don't need these fragments anymore. I can turn them off. Now I need to define this asset file in this snapshot asset and click on load. And that's it. All my objects here, here they are. Just a mesh filter with mesh render, nothing special. As you can see, it also loads uh, these two materials for outer and inner object. So from now on, I can I can again apply widget component black. Uh, turn off demolition type and my rock. This one. Which I just loaded. I also would add a fire widget component and turn off demolition. Well, I can start play mode again and I will start uh, with these fragments already laying on the ground. So I can now I can well move them further. Oh, sorry, I forgot to set here. I uh, made some <laughs> basic mistake. I need to apply widget component to this column root instead of the fragment. Uh, and set here a mesh root. Okay, now it will work well. Now every fragment has its own refer widget component and well, I can start uh, pushing them around. But in case you want to have just one, uh, one mesh you don't want to have a lot of fragments. You can just um, turn off this object which I had before. And now I can apply combine component. And keep here combine. Okay, now uh, I don't need these uh, fragments and uh, objects anymore. I can delete them. And uh, I don't need this combine component. I don't need snapshot component. Now all I have is just one snapshot mesh. As you can see, this is just one mesh which has all the fragments and uh, all the uh, materials you need. So just uh, one simple mesh, uh, which consists of all these demolished fragments. And I guess in this way you can pretty quickly, just in uh, one minute, create uh, some kind of demolition uh, for environment purposes, you don't need to keep uh, a lot of fragments around just to have some this kind of uh, environment modeling. And you can duplicate them, scale. 
turn it around. Well, you got the idea. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for watching and hope this feature will help me.